I think that data has changed our school. We look at data in so many different ways for so many different things that it really has changed what we do at school and how we teach in the classroom. You do sometimes look at the students and you think, wow, they do go through a lot of testing, but at the same time I do think that the testing that we do serves a purpose. The purpose is to help us guide our instruction, to help them achieve greater success, so if you are actually using the data to benefit the students, I think it just makes it that much more powerful. The big deterrent was uh, sharing your data with other people. That's very difficult. Um, I think we're starting to move beyond that, but it's still not so easy to do. But uh, at least we break into course alikes, biology, chemistry, whatever, they'll go together and we sit as a team then and you don't pass your personal data out, but you do look at your data and you're able to compare with others and it's, it's still a little touchy. I think that's been the biggest thing to overcome. But once we've been able to overcome that, you can see how the progression moves forward with the kids and, and uh, achieving proficiency in the standards. Data can be used as a hammer or it can be used as a flashlight. And I think where people are resistant with data, it's perhaps they fear it's going to be used as a hammer. Our teachers use it as a flashlight to show them um, it's basically the student's voice in terms of what they know now um, compared to what we need them to know to be able to go on to the next level. That's where data shines a bright light in terms of the work we do with each child as an individual. Um, at a school level and then at a district level, it shines light on our work collectively in terms of where are our gaps. What are those things where we're not doing as well? Are there children for whom we're not seeing the kind of success we want to see? And if that's the case, what does the data tell us about that? And therefore, what opportunities do we need to provide that we haven't provided to make sure that um, our students are accessing what we know they need to access uh, to have those bright futures? The use of data has been a paradigm shift in education. Data tells us what we are doing right and what we need to improve. And ultimately, it's about what do we need to change to help our kids do better. And what I have seen is showing students data helps them, but it starts look at looking at our district-wide data and then looking at our school-wide data and what do we need to do as a school and coming up with a plan as a school looking at grade level data and what do grade levels need to do to work together through collaboration and then moving down to classroom and reflection of teachers on their own instructional strategies and then down to the student and the student looking at their own data. And what I have found is through tracking benchmarks and looking at grade level data it not only motivates the students but it also motivates the teachers. And what data has been able to do is give us common ground and a common language with a common goal. And so we're able to talk about students and talk about where they are in the continuum, what we, need, what we need from each other to help that student progress on that continuum, and therefore it's very focused. And then everything we do, every decision we make, from an assembly to a test is deliberate. Without um, data, it's uh, what I talk about quite frequently is random acts of teaching. We don't have um, liberty to do that. We have a, a right and a responsibility to use data, to use valid information to guide students and, and have them progress through state standards. Garden Grove is still developing its ability to use data well. We're still finding things in our data system um, that we wish it could do that it doesn't do. Um, and we're still refining our use of, that, uh, of data as a tool. Um, Likewise, I think the state has some data and they have a data system that does accomplish some things. But just as Garden Grove needs to look for uh, better ways um, to inform practice and instruction, I believe the state needs a data system that will allow the same thing. There are many things, many important things that we just don't know about how California schools are doing. We don't know how many kids are dropping out of school. We don't know what programs are working for kids, what kinds of state interventions make a difference for kids' learning. 
Um, and in the absence of good data, in the absence of a comprehensive data system, we have no way of finding out the answers to those questions. It's not just academic data that you need. You need data on what are the teaching methods that work? What are the models of organizing a school that serve different kinds of populations? There are a lot of experiments out there. You've got to document what's working and what's not working. What may work with one community will not work with another. What you do in rural California needs to address different sociological issues than what happens in urban core California. The state assessments and the state tests are completely useless because the uh, information we get from those are coming to us a year later. The students are already moved on to another grade level and they have no real impact on what I'm doing for those kids. It's more of an, this is what I did on one day and this is what a student was able to show me they were able to do on one day during one test. It's nothing I can use to help anything. What we can do now with California's data, for example, is we, c we can look at third graders in 2004 and fourth graders in 2005 and we assume that those are more or less the same kids and we say do we see an imp improvement in performance over time. What we really need are data that look at Johnny Jones in the third grade and Johnny Jones in the fourth grade and ask whether his performance is improving as he moves through the educational system. So this is what we mean by a student level longitudinal data system is one that can track individual kids and their improvements in performance over the course of their education. I know data for me has, has really, number one, changed the way I've taught, and then the other, it's just the students really feel more rewarded to see, you know, kind of a scaled uh, score, how they've improved, because I can then say, Hey, look where you were at the start of the year. Do you remember when your study guide was this thick? Hey, you're, you're down to about this right now. When the CSTs come around, you have nothing to worry about.